We can always get back up no matter how many times we fall. Yes, we're heading into incredible stories of 10 fighters who smashed their losing streak and rose from the ashes like true champions. 10. Frank Mir. After receiving his belt, he was involved in a fatal motorcycle accident. He came back after two years and fought four title fights. The loss to JDS that followed after he recovered called into question his place in the game. He went through four straight losses that involved JDS, DC, Josh Barnett, and Alistair Overeem. Mir's KOs of bouncing back against Bigfoot Silva and Todd Duffy aren't just victories, it was a slap in the face. 9. Julian Arosa. Julian Arosa, who was defeated by the great Artem Lobov and knocked out by Taruto Ishihara, caused him to be ejected from the UFC. After years and eight fights, including a loss to Patty Pimlet. The featherweight Julian Arosa defeated late replacement A.J. Bryant by first-round submission to snap his losing streak and make his first step towards righting his career after suffering three consecutive losses in the UFC. 8. Andre Arlovsky The return of Andre Arlovsky turned out to be a motivating comeback story. He entered the octagon after a six-month absence and a four-fight losing record in 2011. Using his finishing skills and commitment, he won his first two fights against Brendan Schaub and Antonio Silva. 7. Dan Hardy Dan Hardy lost to George St. Pierre in a highly publicized matchup. He then lost to Carlos Condit, which didn't go as planned by UD to Anthony Rumble Johnson, and suffered relegation due to his fourth straight defeat when he was submitted by the retiring Chris Lytle. He returned to the main event with a win over Dwayne Bang Ludwig in a first-round KO that earned him a 50K, but he suffered a heart condition problem that affected his career. 6. Jim Miller in 2013, Jim Miller was bitten by a tick in the woods. He didn't notice that at the time and there was no mark in his body. He had to lose three years affected by this Lyme syndrome disease and after treatment lost four straight fights in a row to Dustin Poirier, Anthony Pettis, Dan Hooker, and Francisco. But in 2018, he was able to recover from his syndrome condition and earned a win against Alex White in under 90 seconds and against Joe Rogan. 5. Cody Garbrandt Garbrandt won the Bantamweight title and seemed unstoppable after his stunning win over Dominic Cruz, but a series of consecutive KO losses to TJ Dillashaw in the second one just under five minutes tested his mettle. Again, he went through a TKO defeat against Pedro Munoz that made a three-fight skid in just a year. Like the rise from Ashes, Cody showed off his elite striking, taking down Rafael Asunchao and signaling a comeback. 4. Dan Henderson Dan Henderson's fight against Shogun Hua was the headline news as the fight of the year which will give him a title shot against John Jones. But due to his knee injury, that fight got cancelled. Hendo suffered three disappointing losses to Iyoto Vegeta, Rashad Evans, and in 2013 got head-kicked KO'd by Vider Belfort, leaving many to wonder if his age was the reason. But in his rematch with Shogun, Henderson silenced the doubters with a third-round TKO, proving that age is just a number. 3. Anthony Pettis Showtime Pettis, as he was known, rose to stardom, ending up on a Wheaties box office. His kicking feet and vibrant personality made him the poster boy of the sport. In addition to the Wheaties name, Pettis suffered three devastating losses, including one against RDA, a split decision loss to Eddie Alvarez, and a UD loss to Edson Barboza. Anthony rekindles his lost spark by defeating future champion Charles Oliveira, reminding the world of his worth. 2. Frankie Edgar After losing the title to Smooth Ben and rematch against Jose Aldo, he transferred down to featherweight division. But after defeating Charles Oliveira, Frankie Edgar made his comeback in 2013 and made his featherweight debut. Due to Edgar's renowned boxing and wrestling abilities, he was able to defeat him in the first round. Edgar won by UD, signaling a successful move to the featherweight division. 1. Tito Ortiz His key victories, especially over Ken Shamrock, made him one of the best in MMA. More than half a decade later, Ortiz's shine began to dim as he suffered a series of straight five losses in five years to Chuck Liddell, Rashad Evans, Leoto Machida, Forrest Griffin, Matt Hamill. However, during his fight with Ryan Bader, he revealed that he was once an MMA fighter. He earned a first-round submission, restored his assets, and showed class and durability with an epic comeback. These champions demonstrated that no obstacle is unbeatable in the combat world and overcame long losing streaks with unyielding will, inspiring us all. Do share your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for contents.